sometimes upgrading the furniture in your house is as simple as just thinking about some new ideas. Nikki O'Neill is here with some great ideas. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you thinking? I'm good. So there's different things that you might want to try. Maybe you want to try upholstery, and that's what, you know, a lot of people will look at an old piece, an old chair, and they will say, oh, you know what, maybe it's just time for some new, uh, new, some new clothing on this. Right. So if you take a look at this picture, this is a before of a chair right. that you found. Mm -hmm. Um, and then look at how you've made it completely new by just getting it reupholstered. So you found this fabric. Right. So I had a client that needed a statement piece and yes. we were looking around for chairs. We found the perfect chair, but it was far, far away. And to get it over uh, to where we needed it to be would be the cost of the chair. So we right. decided to just make our own. So you saw the old, um, the new, the, uh, new old chair. Right. <laughs> right. And um, we found some fabric, which is right here. And um, we just reupholstered it. Now, the thing with reupholstering is that it could be quite expensive. It's almost the cost of the chair. Right. Um, but the thing is that you can customize it. You can make it exactly what you need it to be. Mm -hmm. um, so it, if, if we take a look at this chair, we're going to show you how we can get the same look, but we're uh, the same look as this, and we're also going to show you three other um, options. Very cool. Right. Okay, so that is, you know, a well-priced, reasonably priced chair. It's nice that you can have some options with it. The one thing I'll say before we move on, though, is with reupholstering, if you have a chair that has good bones, it could make right. sense to just get it reupholstered. Exactly. Because it's still a good piece. Exactly. So it's worth paying almost the amount for a new chair for this same right. chair with good bones. And right? then it's environmentally uh, yeah, it's friendly good. too, it's right? It's good to reuse, right? Okay, so now we've got this chair that right. you're going to show us how to do three ways. So, I yes, you could, have, you. you could have just reupholstered this chair as it is. Yep. Let's say you have an older chair. Maybe you have a little bit of, like, you know, some dirt on the sides of it. Mm -hmm. um, we can get that same look that we got here by using Sharpies. Just color on yeah. it. Yeah. Don't so. tell your kids that this is something <laughs> that is okay. Grown-ups can do it, though. Now, the one thing that you want to uh, do about the Sharpies is that you want to get a, 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 few, uh, a few Sharpies in different yeah. sizes. Um, okay. Because you see with the print here, it's a, it's a thicker um, print. So yes. you want to be able to... Let's just open this up. Is it because it's going to run out? Is that why you need... Um, it's, you don't want to have to keep... Uh, for example, if I take the smaller Sharpie and I'm trying to recreate that... Um, I have to actually draw it out, you know what I mean? Like I have to actually draw it out here right. and then color it in. But if you have a thicker Sharpie, then you could literally just go and make that same design right off the bat as opposed to having to draw it out, oh, outline I it see. out, right? Yeah. So I'm doing this upside down so it may not look as... And the thing with the Sharpie is that it's, it, doesn't, it doesn't need to be perfect. Once you continuously do this over and over again mm -hmm. and create that pattern, then you kind of get this this look you know so right and um, and imagine the sharpie is not almost dead and you will i promise you <laughs> well that's what i was wondering i, I mean you must have gone you? through many sharpies right. right i promise you that you will be able to create but that look at how that look. looks isn't that so cool <laughs> and for the fraction of the cost you get them from the dollar store and you can literally create whatever pattern you want. Now, if I sit on this with white jeans... <laughs> well, you want to try it out? <laughs> <laughs> Just make sure it's had some time to cure right, before right, you start right. hanging out on it. Okay, another thing you might want to think about doing is painting. Right. I really like this one because, you know, you sometimes Pretty. you get these chairs, like you were saying, that have these great bones and, you know, you've spilt and you've done a lot of things with them. Yeah. But you want to keep the chair. So painting it is really um, easy. You can update it. Now, people with painting, they get a little bit um, timid because they figure it's going to be hard. Crunchy. You know? Right, exactly. Now the thing you want to do is you want to mix your latex paint with a fabric medium. You can pick up at your local fabric store and you mix mm -hmm. it in and that'll give it a little bit more flexibility. Yeah, um, the okay. other thing you want to keep in mind is the texture of the fabric that you're painting. Right. This one is sort of like a canvas uh, and it has grooves in it. So what I'm doing is I'm going to actually paint, whoop, there we go, I'm actually going to paint over it before I even start creating the designs, uh -huh. just because that fills in the grooves and it makes it easier to kind of create that design, right? Okay, so did you mention the sort of fabric that you can do this on? What kind of fabric are you looking for? Like, is there any fabric that you should just say, forget it, I can't paint it? Um, I, if it's on the furniture, then I think it's okay. I mean, like, I don't know if there's silk, okay. uh, you know, yeah. chairs or whatever, but uh, the tougher the fabric or the, like, for example, you could do this on leather. You know? Right. You just have to make sure that you're using the, the right... Um, the right paint. Right. So we're going to do this first, and we're going to just paint the light blue on. Okay. And then what you want to do, you can create any design you want, but I'm going to take some other blues, and I'm going to mix them together. 
and this kind of like, just create. It's almost like art, you know, it's like you pretty can, cool creating art on your uh, furniture. Right. So you just kind of dip it in and, and mix the colors and just, you know. I think also of all of the um, students that are going to university and, and want their pieces to have a little bit more personality. <laughs> right, right. This is a great way to achieve that without having to spend, because a lot of pieces that you would find in the store that look like this would be very expensive. Exactly. This is a great way to do it um, and, you know, make it your own at a good price. So you just kind of go across and you mix it around and leave gaps and, you know, use it, use it like almost your canvas. Very and if cool. we turn it around, you can kind of see, I'll get that from you, what we can do with it. Look at that. It's beautiful. Really, really nice. And still comfy. Right? Still comfy. Not, not too crunchy, no, right? It feels almost crunchy. like leather, doesn't it? Exactly. Okay, so this one, oh, so pretty. Yes. Um, so this is another way of doing, I have a skirt like this. So I'm just going to show them the after first. But look at this. All the fringe and oh, feathers. Oh, I love it. We all know fringe is huge in decor and fashion right now. Right. So this is like, how did you do this? So with this one, so if you take a look, you can buy these um, feathered or trim pieces uh, just like this. So it kind of has the fringe on it. Yep. But you know, if you put the fringe just on it, then it kind of has this contrasting effect, right? Yes. So I wanted to hide that because in order to make it full like this, I needed multiple rows yes so in order to camouflage that I had to first go ahead and oh, paint it I a see. darker color okay so you go ahead and I think you get the point you paint it a darker Whoop. yep so that you don't have all of those big right, white right white lines, lines behind it nice. so you kind of it's gonna take a few coats but essentially you, you paint that um, the darker gray color or black or whatever color you'd like and then once you've painted that through you need a lot of those strips of fringe. Right. You Do you a, start from the bottom or from the top? I started, you're supposed to start from the, the bottom, but I always start from the top. Do you? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Because then I, you I have to see. put the fringe underneath. Right. Like, isn't I, that harder? It is, but I, I like to see the end first, so I always put the top. Put, start from the bottom and then work your way up. She's it's an easier. artist. <laughs> this is how they think. So, you know what? I actually did this very simply. I didn't even glue gun it. I just took pins. Yes. And I just pinned it to the side of it. So, okay. I pinned it across. And I painted the top of the pin black, so you could always change it out. Like I didn't want to commit. It's hard for me to commit sometimes. So I think <laughs> <laughs> commitment issues too. Okay. <laughs> Listen, we'll leave this for now, right. and you can show us this very last, uh, these very last right. embellishments there. So that the you other can thing, you, add. the other thing is like um, nail heads or see those. I'll give you those. So you can add these in. I love furniture with nail head design, but why not? You can put your own on, right? right? And this is this one is much easier because it's the actual tape. So oh. every so often they have a hole so you can actually puncture the actual um, nail head in and keep oh, it sturdy. Oh, that's great. Right. And the other thing I really liked is this um, uh, cowhide trim that has like a zebra pattern. Yeah. So imagine like you have this like fringe. I mean, this is a little bit safari, but I think it still looks great. And then you have this trim on the edge of it that mm -hmm. kind of amps it up a little bit. Love you know it. what I mean? Yeah, it's very nice. Okay, so really, really easy ways to upgrade a chair. I love that.